Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Shih Tzu in the Rainbow Loom. And I actually added a little bow on her, and I really love this design. She's really small, and I made a little um, poofy tail too. And I wanted to dedicate this little tutorial to a little Shih Tzu that I know that will be turning 19 years old on Christmas. And his name is Nikki, and happy birthday. So this is dedicated to Nikki, and it's a single loom, and let's get started. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using white for the main body, and you can use any shade of brown or even black, because there are Shih Tzus that are black also. And um, But this one, I'm going to use the um, darker shade of the tan in the camel pack for Rainbow Loom, and I'm putting some coloration on the back too. And I'm going to make a, a fluffy tail, but I'm going to also show you how to make just a regular tail too if this um, fluffy part is too hard to make. And at the end you will need a scissor because we're going to be cutting some bands for some hair around the face. So first we're going to start off and use the brown. And once again this is the, the darker shade in the camel pack. And we're going to use a double band. And we're starting from the top to the left pin. Then we're going to do another double, and they're all doubles, and it's a very easy pattern too. I tried to make this one easy and, and small. Sorry for the shaking. And another double, and then another double. Okay, now the rest of the face will be white, so and they're all double bands again. And we're starting from the middle pin to the bottom. Another stitch. And then another stitch to make three stitches in the middle. Okay, then another stitch, a big long stitch starting from this pin all the way to this pin. And then another one from this pin to this pin. Okay, now we're going to be working with the neck area. So you need a triple band. So three of white from this pin to this pin. And we're going to work on the back now. It's a double white. Now your brown to match this shade, and then another double white. So the back is actually three stitches long. It's a very small dog like the Maltese. So triple, and then the rest is double. And now I'm going to work on the shoulder areas, which were white, and they're doubles again. Then another white. Then another brown, and then another white to connect at the bottom from here to here. And now we're working on the left side, the double white, we're just repeating the same pattern. Then your brown. Oh no, not the brown, the white, sorry. Then the brown. And now the white. Okay, we're going to make the legs now. And they are three stitches long, very easy and short legs. So you're going to take a single, wrap it on the hook three times. So one, two, three, then a double, that's one stitch, then another double, and then another double. Okay, we're going to place it right here. And this is going to be the same pattern for all the legs. 
So one, two, three, then three stitches of doubles. There's one, two, and three. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, and we'll push these down. So another one, two, three. And I'm not making claws on this dog because usually they're fluffy and you don't really see the, um, the claws. Just a straight leg. Here's number two, and number three. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, the fourth leg. So sorry. One, two, three. And three more stitches. So it's number two and number three. And we'll place it right here. Now the tail I made extra fluffy because they have fluffy tails. And if you're beginning to loom, this part might be a little bit difficult, but I'm going to take it slow. And there's like, two, if you don't want the fluff on the side bands, I'm going to show you quickly, really fast, how to make um, just a straight tail. And then the second tail I'm going to make is the fluffy tail that I'm going to use on this dog. So this is the easier tail, which is going to be three bands. Place it on the hook, wrap it around just that two times. Then you're going to take a double band, and then one more double band for another stitch, and then this is the easier tail. So it's a little fluffy at the end, but it doesn't have the side. And then if you want just this tail, you can place it right here. And then fast forward the next part, or just stay and you can watch the, the more... Um, fluffy tail too. So we're going to take this apart and I'll show you the, the fluffier tail. Same way, the three bands, put it on the hook, wrap it around the twice, so it's a figure eight. Then I'm going to take a double band and place that on the double. Now I'm going to take uh, two singles and I'm going to take this off the hook and keep on holding it like this so you don't lose this stitch. I'm going to take this band and make another figure eight, so basically wrap twice around. Then I'm going to place the hook through the right stitch. Then I'm going to hold this like this and then place another figure eight band, wrap twice around. Wait, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to take this off first. Sorry. I'm going to, so I have that one band on the right and then I have this one attached. I'm going to grab this and bring it over the hook. So now it's wrapped around this band, and now I'm going to place another band on here, wrap it around, then I'm going to place this stitch back on the hook. So now I'm going to have this wrap around stitch in the middle, and I'm going to take it, you can see it, and bring it over the hook so it's on the side. So basically, now we have a stitch on the left and a stitch on the right. 
that are hanging. So, and that's how you do the more fluffy. And now I'm going to take another double, place it on the hook, slide that back on there, and that's your fluffy tail. And we're going to place it right here. So if you can make both tails, whatever you'd like. Both of them are super cute on this dog. Okay, now we're going to do our structural bands. I need a single white. It's going to be a triangle. Then a brown single. Another triangle. Now we're going to make the nose. The nose is going to be short and I'm making a white nose for this one. So, well it's going to be white nose and then I mean, black nose and then the white fur. So, single black. One, two, three, four times around. Then you take a single white, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, bring that black band over, blurring that white band back on, and that's your little nose. Now you're going to take another white, bring, slide it on the white, the single white, and you're going to place it on this pin and this pin. Okay, and bring it down, down here, underneath here, so it's hanging like that. Now the eyes, I'm making big black eyes, single. Make a, you can wrap it four times around, or you can do a figure eight, and then wrap it again. Same thing. So figure eight, and wrap again. Then a single white. Bring the eyes over. And I'm going to place it on these two bands again. I'm going to lay it over that middle pin. So it's attached to these two, and then brought it over. Just like that. Now the ears, they're big furry little ears. So I'm going to show you how to make that. You're going to need two of the brown wrapped twice around the hook. So one and two. Then you're going to need a triple of the brown, so three. Place it on the hook, bring that over, bring it back on the hook. Then you're going to need a single, single twist upon itself. Then slide the ear on that, and we're going to place it right here. So that's one ear, and now we're going to do it again. So a double of the brown, one, two, then a triple, then slide that on the triple, bring it back on the hook, then a single twist. And then place it right here. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure it looks like this and we can start looming. Okay, so pull that back the tail. And our first upper band is this one. So we're bringing it to this pin, then we're going to grab this one on the right, then the middle, and we're just looming the middle forward. Up to the neck, we're going to stop right there. Now we're grabbing this brown at the bottom, 
then the white, and then the shoulder white. Same on here is the brown on the bottom. Then the white and then the shoulder. Now the triple band on the neck. Okay, so now we have the long stretchy one right here on the left topmost then the one on the right and finally the one in the middle we're going to bring it over the nose bring that nose out so we don't lose him loom this middle white stitch and then we're going to stop right there now we're going to loom the right side, the brown. And then the top brown to the middle. And now this one. And top brown. Now we're going to do the white over here in the middle. I want it to be the middle band. Okay, this is your layout. Make sure yours looks like this. It's pretty simple. Now we're going to make the um, slip knot bands be the hair. We're going to cut this at the end. I'm actually adding a brown to it. So I'm going to use two browns and three whites. So if you want all white to be the ponytail, you can do all white, so make it five total, or however fluffy you want that ponytail. But this is five right here. So I'm going to do some brown and some white in this one. So I'm going to place my brown on the outside, then the white, and then another brown. Make sure they're the same length. Place my hook right through the middle. Grab the bands, bring it through, I'm going to make my slip knot, and pull taut. And this is going to be your little ponytail too. So now we can take it off the loom. off slowly. Okay, here's the nose area. I don't want to lose that nose. I'm going to pop it up and the cheeks. behind the head and pop the head out. Bring the nose. If your eyes are hiding, bring the eyes out. Stretch him out. Legs and all. Okay, and he looks super cute just like this, but we're going to turn this into this. So, first we need a single band. We're going to Fix his neck, place your hook right through this neck area, and tug slightly. It's going to bring his neck up, just like that. Then, if you made other dogs of mine before, you know what um, we're going to sew the, belt, the body shut, and you're just going to go through these little shoulder um, stitches, just like this. You're going to place your band right through. 
and then you're going to make a slip knot and this is your thread and bring it down then you're going to go through this brown stitch see that and then bring your thread through then we're going to go through the last white stitch and bring your thread through okay now you need a scissor for this part you're going to snip the end so it's two pieces then you're going to anchor, you're going to hold on to one end, we're just going to tie a knot you're going to anchor one piece underneath some bands, doesn't matter what bands then you can make like a triple knot so I have that anchored and I'm tying knots now and three and you can either hide this excess inside the dog or you can cut it be careful not to cut yourself or the dog okay pull his stretch him out pull his legs down he is so cute now the tail I have that fluffy tail I'm gonna I want it instead of going down I want it up the Shih Tzu's tails are going up we're gonna go underneath go inside this last stitch of the tail and we're just going to pull that tail up okay so now it's up and fluffy and the ears I don't want the ears to be straight like that so I'm gonna there's a single right here that single twist from before I'm going to hold that and then I'm just going to slightly tug the ear down like that and it brings it down okay and then I'm going to do the same thing here here's the single twist that we had before I'm going to take that triple and just tug and it's down like that and he's already resembling a little Shih Tzu I'm going to fix his eye a little bit Okay, so now I'm going to snip this end to make his little hair come out. And now we're going to work with um, cutting the bands to turn, if you want to keep him like this you can keep him like that too, but I'm going to make some hair on his face. So we need a couple white bands and two um, of the brown bands cut. And I'm going to show you right now how to do the cuttings. So I'm going to be using six bands total for the hair on the um, face for the white part and then two of the brown to make the little brown part on the top of the head. So I'm going to place my two there. Then I want to place two more white bands here and then four here. And I'm going to show you first how to make the hair on the nose part and then we're going to work our way up and you're going to need a scissor and he has to go to the groomer later so we're going to cut the bands too so we're going to first cut the bands I want them all the same length so I'm going to dangle them and then they're going to be all oblong so these bands come they're a little bit oblong I want them staying this way I don't want like one band this way and one band the other way because then it kind of when you cut the bands one's going to be up one's going to be down so I want them all the same length so here's my four bands I'm just going to cut the top part just like that so I'm going to place that there now here they're oblong here already you can also dangle them on the hook to make sure that they're the same and we're just going to cut lengthwise just one snip and we're going to do the same with this one I want to cut the oblong part at the end 
Okay, so now we're going to place these four bands through this white single um, stitch right here. So this is the nose part. I'm not putting it through the nose. I'm putting it through the white stitch. So I'm going to pull that out, place my hook right through that single twist that we had for the nose. And let me do it again. I'm going to pull that nose. And I'm going behind the nose, placing my hook like this. You can see right there. Then I'm going to take these four bands, and this is the part where you have to be um, meticulous a little bit. Make sure they're all the same direction. Place it on the hook, and you're going to bring these four bands through. You might lose some in the way, and you can just redo it, or you can do like two at a time. Bring that nose up so it goes through. Okay. So take your time with this one. So now I have one band sticking up, and I don't want that. I want them all down. Because when you give him a haircut later, you want them all the same direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip it over. So he's facing down. Just like that. He looks pretty good to me. And you can make them facing a little bit more toward the back because they'll look nicer. Okay, just like that. And now we're going to use these two stitches. I'm going to put this down. And I want these two stitches right here in between the eyes on top of the nose. So I'm going to put the nose down, go right underneath this stitch. You can see that? And then I'm going to place my second one. This is going to be two bands. And same as before. Bring it through. And I want the bands facing down. Mine are facing up, so we just bring them down. So it's going to take some time, but the end product will, oh, he'll look so cute. So he's looking down, bands are down. Okay, so now the top part is the two little strands of brown coming down. And I'm going to place that right underneath this stitch. The white stitch on the top. Same as before, just going to bring it through. And I want them facing down too. Oh, I think that one came out nice. So now we're ready to cut the bands. And if you get, you can cut them as short or as long as you'd like. What I did with this dog is I started at the jawline and I just cut the um, bands at the jawline and then went up. So I have the white bands down here. I'm starting at the jawline and I'm just giving them a snip. Then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Make sure you don't cut yourself or the dog other bands. So I have one that's big. And you just, you know, trim it up the way you want your Shih Tzu's hair to be like on the face. Move the bands around. See what works. I'm going to cut this one. Now I'm going to cut the 
brown ones almost to be the shape around the eye. I cut this one a little shorter. So it's all your, you know, the way that you want the dog to look. I see two bands on this one that I want a little bit shorter. So you can make them shorter, longer, however you like. And then you can move the bands around too. If you still have one sticking up or not like that, you know, you just move it around. It'll come out cute. I'm going to bring this one down a little bit. And you just play with it. I really like how the brown bands are laying. And I'm going to cut a little bit more on the top, too. A little shorter. I think it came out cute. So now I'm going to show you how to make the bow. And then if you want to add more bands or anything like that, you can do that too. If you think that he's not hairy enough or you think that he's too hairy, you know, take some out. Make him your own. And I'm going to clean this up. But that's the grooming session. So I'm going to make this little bow. It's super, super easy. And I'm going to, I'm going to place him right here. Just use three pick bands. They're, mine are the pearl bands. Three bands. I'm going to place it on any pin. Just two. Then I'm going to take a single. Place it underneath. And I'm going to make a little slip knot in the middle. So now it's slip knot. Pull taut. And this is how I make a little bow. You can use different colors. You know, you can use more than three bands, anything you want. You can do four or five bands. And you can either wrap it a couple times around here, like a regular bow. Or what I like is, I liked how this one, the bow is a little bit lower on the head. So I placed my hook. And I want my hook to go through right here underneath the slip knot. Just like that. I'm going to place my hook right through there, that. Then I'm going to grab the little slip knot bow and pull it through. I'm going to find that bow, pull it through. And he looks, she looks really cute with the bow just right on top of the head. And if you want, you can just hide this um, pink in the back of the head. Or I just wrap it a couple times around the ponytail. Just a couple times. And I think she came out really cute. So, and that is your Shih Tzu. And remember, you can always take, if you have one band flip, you know, on top, you can take it out and just redo it. Or you can move it around again, twist it, and it'll face down again. And I think she came out really cute. You can change it up. And the bow, the tail looks awesome. She's really tiny. And I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, bye. Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Shih Tzu in the Rainbow Loom. And I actually added a little bow on her, and I really love this design. She's really small, and I made a little um, poofy tail, too. And I wanted to dedicate this little tutorial to a little Shih Tzu that I know that will be turning 19 years old on Christmas. And his name is Nikki. And happy birthday. So this is 
dedicated to Nikki and it's a single loom and let's get started. In this tutorial I'm going to be using white for the main body and you can use any shade of brown or even black because there are shoots that are black also. And um, But this one I'm going to use the um, darker shade of the tan in the camel pack for rainbow loom and I'm putting some coloration on the back too. And I'm going to make a, a fluffy tail, but I'm going to also show you how to make just a regular tail too if this um, fluffy part is too hard to make. And at the end you will need a scissor because we're going to be cutting some bands for some hair around the face. So first we're going to start off and use the brown. And once again this is the, the darker shade and the camel pack. And we're going to use a double band. And we're starting from the top to the left pin. Then we're going to do another double and they're all doubles and it's a very easy pattern too. I tried to make this one easy and, and small. Sorry for the shaking. And another double and then another double. Okay now the rest of the face will be white so and they're all double bands again and we're starting from the middle pin to the bottom. Another stitch. And then another stitch to make three stitches in the middle. Okay, then another stitch, a big long stitch starting from this pin all the way to this pin. And then another one from this pin to this pin. Okay, now we're going to be working with the neck area. So you need a triple band. So three of white from this pin to this pin. And we're going to work on the back now. The double white now your brown to match this shade and then another double white. So the back is actually three stitches long. It's a very small dog like the Maltese. So triple and then the rest is double. And now I'm going to work on the shoulder areas which were white and they're doubles again. Then another white Then another brown, and then another white to connect at the bottom from here to here. And now we're working on the left side, the double white, we're just repeating the same pattern. Then your brown. Oh no, not the brown, the white, sorry. Then the brown. And now the white. Okay, we're going to make the legs now. And they are three stitches long, very easy and short legs. So you're going to take a single, wrap it on the hook three times. So one, two, three, then a double, that's one stitch, then another double, and then another double. Okay, we're going to place it right here. And this is going to be the same pattern for all the legs. So one, two, three, then three stitches of doubles. There's one, two, and three. Nose. The nose is going to be short and I'm making a white nose for this one. 
So, well, it's going to be white nose and then, I mean, black nose and then the white fur. So, single black. One, two, three, four times around. Then you take a single white, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, bring that black band over, blurring that white band back on, and that's your little nose. Now you're going to take another white, bring, slide it on the white, the single white, and you're going to place it on this pin and this pin. Okay, and bring it down, down here, underneath here, so it's hanging like that. Now the eyes, I'm making big black eyes, single, like, uh, you can wrap it four times around, or you can do a figure eight, and then wrap it again, same thing. So figure eight, and wrap again. Then a single white. Bring the eyes over, and I'm going to place it on these two bands again. I'm going to lay it over that middle pin. So it's attached to these two, and then brought it over, just like that. Now the ears, they're big furry little ears. So I'm going to show you how to make that. You're going to need two of the brown wrapped twice around the hook. So one and two. Then you're going to need a triple of the brown. So three. Place it on the hook. Bring that over. Bring it back on the hook. Then you're going to need a single, single twist upon itself. Then slide the ear on that. And we're going to, and we're going to place it right here. Okay, and we'll push these down. So another one, two, three. And I'm not making claws on this dog because usually they're fluffy and you don't really see the, um, the claws. Just a straight leg. Here's number two. And number three. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, the fourth leg, so sorry, one, two, three, and three more stitches. Okay, so it's number two, and number three. And we'll place it right here. Now the tail, I made extra fluffy because they have fluffy tails. And if you're beginning to loom, this part might be a little bit difficult, but I'm going to take it slow. And there's like, two, if you don't want the fluff on the side bands, I'm going to show you quickly really fast how to make um, just a straight tail. And then the second tail I'm going to make is the fluffy tail that I'm going to use on this dog. So this is the easier tail, which is going to be three bands, place it on the hook, wrap it around just that two times, then you're going to take a double band, and then one more double band for another stitch, and then this is the easier tail. So it's a little fluffy at the end, but it doesn't have the side. And then if you want just this tail, you can place it right here. 
and then fast forward the next part or just stay and you can watch the, the more um, fluffy tail too. So we're going to take this apart and I'll show you the, the fluffier tail. Same way, the three bands, put it on the hook, wrap it around the twice, so it's a figure eight. Then I'm going to take a double band and place that on the double. Now I'm going to take uh, two singles and I'm going to take this off the hook and keep on holding it like this so you don't lose the stitch. I'm going to take this band and make another figure eight, so basically wrap twice around. Then I'm going to place the hook through the right stitch. Then I'm going to hold this like this and then place another figure eight band, wrap twice around. Wait, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to take this off first. Sorry. I'm going to, so I have got one band on the right and then I have this one attached. I'm going to grab this and bring it over the hook. So now it's wrapped around this band and now I'm going to place another band on here, wrap it around, then I'm going to place this stitch back on the hook. So now I'm going to have this wrap around stitch in the middle and I'm going to take it and see it and bring it over the hook so it's on the side. So basically now we have a stitch on the left and a stitch on the right that are hanging. So and that's how you do the more fluffy. And now I'm going to take another double place it on the hook, slide that back on there, and that's your fluffy tail. And we're going to place it right here. So if you can make both tails, whatever you'd like. Both of them are super cute on this dog. Okay, now we're going to do our structural bands. I need a single white. It's going to be a triangle then a brown single, another triangle. Now we're going to make the 